back here again and it's time for another vlog yeah, that's right we're gonna vlog again uh, here in my mobile office uh, it it isn't over yet uh, it's not gonna be over until the end of the month you see here we're exactly when it's over yeah see Monday August 26th and tomorrow night is the last service for Kimesis for the uh, for the mother of God we call her uh, Theotokos and uh, so tomorrow night will be the last tomorrow, tomorrow night and tomorrow morning will be the last time I'm in church uh, for these type of services and then after that on Thursday I head up to uh, Mars Alpha for uh, uh, until Tuesday that's into September uh, for a bit of research up north so uh, that's what I'm going to be doing and uh, well, on, on the sort of the back the school front on the studying front uh, things have been going well I've been doing my, my reading uh, it's a little bit difficult so the first thing I have to do is uh, I have to use uh, two books and I'm actually taking uh, notes on the side as well it, here and then transferring them back into here that's it before uh, because I ha what happens is that uh, in order to get the Greek done properly uh, like I said I'm starting off at a grade 3 level of reading which means that uh, I have to find uh, the places that I know in the book for sure these are the sort of key points and then start filling in the areas that I don't know and that means writing down words for vocabulary uh, and switching back and forth between your between uh, the reader and the notepad isn't always as convenient plus I want a way to sort of study again as I'm transferring notes uh, sort, of, sort, of, sort of a way to increase my study and I realize that, that uh, when you take your notes here in the paper form and you transfer them back into your, your notebook here on the uh, on the uh, smart pad that that's a sort of a formal way of as a way of studying again so it pushes me forward in terms of what I want to do what, what I want to get done with my studying so that's a yay to that in terms of getting the work done um, other things I've been looking at uh, I'm still trying to straighten out my browser situation on here uh, some browsers have some functions that are like some browsers that, that have functions that, 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 that you know other features that are like in other words uh i have firefox for all the desktop sites i have opera which was good to be good good for the mobile but it's starting to slow down now on certain sites particularly like tumblr it's slow is really slow on tumblr so i'm trying opera classic but Opera Classic presents its own particular problems and own learning curve because uh, while uh, Opera Mobile is good, uh, an Opera an Opera regular, right? Uh, the, the, the not not the not Opera, but Opera itself is good for a lot of different other sites. Uh, it does have a speed issue, where Opera Classic doesn't have a speed issue, but it does have certain problems loading. I'll give an example: I was on Tumblr today. I was trying to log into Tumblr. The problem was it, it didn't come up with the icon or link to, to sign into Tumblr. It just had a link to sign up to Tumblr. And that presents a problem when you're trying to uh, 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 log into a service that you need on a mobile platform. If you can't sign up, can't sign in, but you can only sign up. Well, what's good? I've already got an account with uh, Tumblr, so there's no point in signing up because I've already signed up. I realized that you actually have to type the, log, uh, the, the URL to log in in order to get the login thing. Uh, but when I did type in the login thing, it popped up, but part of the page was missing. And that was the part where you had to type in, your, put in your username and your uh, user ID. I mean, your, your password. Uh, <laughs> the whole section there to actually fill in your stuff was missing. So, um, I have to, when I get back to my office tonight, uh, to my library where I have a, a good Wi-Fi connection or a good uh, internet connection, I have to sort of resolve these sort of signing in issues. And if Opera Classic, in terms of the mobile, does a good enough job, then uh, I might just get rid of uh, regular Opera and stick with that. It is, in other words, I'm going to have to sort of see uh, how things are working out, whether or not Opera Classic does a good enough job to cover all the different things I need, or whether or not I have to uh, 
stick with just uh, Opera itself or maybe use a combination of the both. So in other words, uh, I'll have three different browsers on uh, my, my, my smart pad, the Android device, uh, to uh, resolve uh, the browsing issues. Uh, one browsing issue that, 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 again, YouTube keeps changing its standards and before on a mobile browser you can go in and uh, you can uh, <laughs> on the mobile website you could answer and take care of your stuff in the inbox well the inbox on the mobile site is now gone you can't answer any email you can't check your inbox uh, on the mobile site on, on the mobile site anymore and that's kind of a, dis a disappointment because uh, that was one of the functions of my reason why you know I, I use a mobile site in, over, over the app because it is the app doesn't always load the sites properly and you couldn't get the uh, the app could, wouldn't allow you into your inbox but uh, now the app well, I still have the app on here even though it upgraded and even though it was supposed to upgrade is it the problem with the upgrade here for the YouTube app is that uh, more often than not, the uh, connection times out, and it says no network, network connection found. Even though yeah, you can still log in, and when you, when you first log into the site and you want to see a uh, want to see a particular YouTube thing, the ads come up. The ads can no problem. So then you press to skip the ad because you don't want to actually see the ad. I don't know how many people want to skip. How many people actually watch these ads? Uh, from my perspective, it's not a good idea to put these ads in here because. Uh, all people are going to do, they're simply going to turn, they're going to be skipping through most of these ads. If you're an advertiser, right, and you're continuously interrupting people from their programs, they're not going to, they're not going to go to your site and say, hey, great idea, thanks for interrupting me while I'm watching my YouTube stuff. I mean, most people get going onto YouTube to get away from the TV commercials. I mean, so if you want to, if you really want to, and this is the best way I think, I've sort of seen in terms of advertising, right? Um, there are a lot of vloggers out there. There are a lot of vloggers. And vloggers can and will honestly review things. So if you want product placement in, inside of uh, YouTube, find some, find people, vloggers on, on, the, on the internet. Don't go through YouTube. Go through the vloggers themselves. Go through the content creators on YouTube. That's the place to advertise. Say, hey, uh, would you mind at the end of your video putting a, posting a 30-second ad or a 10-second ad? You know, that's how you that's how you get your 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 products out there. That's how you do your advertising from the content provider. If you're gonna treat treat a YouTube channel as a channel, then then the advertisement should be on the end of the user of the of the channel, not on YouTube itself. I know I know this is how YouTube create, makes its revenue, but the problem is if if you're a person who's advertising, uh, and this is something you should know. You're not going to get people, if, if you're angering people, if you're sort of <laughs> annoying them, 